It's not easy for a program to win a state title, let alone three in four years. But that's exactly what the cheer team over at Providence has achieved. Our Ashley Gonzalez takes you to the heart of the game to explain what drives the team's success. Seven, eight, P cheer, science, spirit, hooves up, yeehaw! I've never been on a team where we listen to worship music while we warm up, and that's just something that gets your body, gets your mind right for your practice, and at the end of the day, you know who you're doing it for. The success of Providence cheer is fueled by faith. Even if we didn't win, it was God's plan, and that was just the best thing for our team. And a whole lot of work. Regionals and States Week, we practiced every morning and every day after school. So that's coming in at 7 a.m. and putting in the work before school, going to school, going to your classes all sweaty, and then getting right back, after, right back to work after school. Providence head cheer coach Lori Benson says to ensure the team stays sharp every season, she reaches out to other Florida coaches with experience choreographing the routines and just tweaking it and helping us perfect our skills. And then I also have reached out to Childs out in Tallahassee. The Stallions say even with all of their titles, they still have doubters. Cheer is not a sport. Oh, it's easy. Oh, we can do that too. That's just so easy. Oh, oh, this was the best one we heard this year. You, uh, state championship is so easy for cheer. You guys can get that no problem. There's different divisions, even in football and basketball, there's different divisions that you're going to go through. And I've gotten good at explaining the process to people, mainly the guys who want to give us a hard time about it. Ashley Gonzalez, back to back, baby. First Coast Sports. Well, the signs will pick up their sideline season in August once fall sports begin again.